Welcome back to the show floor here at PPMA Show 2023, brought to you by Markham Image. I'm here with Roy from Harford Control. Uh, Roy, thank you so much for chatting with us today. Tell us a bit about what Harford Control does. Well, we've been in business now since 1976. We manufacture performance improvement systems, mainly for the food and drink and pharmaceutical industries. So everyone who puts something into a packet yep. um, becomes a potential customer for us. The problem in the last few years in particular with COVID and with Brexit has been that people are paying more and more for raw materials, paying more and more to transform those raw materials into finished products. Increased energy costs of course go in with that mix. And then of course, generally speaking, when they ask the supermarkets for an increase, the answer is no. Or might be yes if you can prove to us what you've done to improve your efficiency, which is where we come in. So our systems cover wastage, improved um, efficiency, we cover laboratory information management. So it's really covering everything end to end. And then when we pull this information, which you can see on the train set here, the reason for that being there is rather than being just a boring old production line, we're showing coding and labeling compliance where we're reading the date codes on the packs, we're reading the barcodes on the packs, so we're reading all of that information, but also every time the train stops, we record how many packs have gone past, how long it's stopped for, why it stopped, and so yeah. on. Yeah. And that all goes into our boards over here, which are the information boards yeah. that will be normally displayed in a factory environment that gives them up-to-date instant information that they can take action on to improve performance. Actionable insight, actionable information, that's, that's exactly what we, what we want. And your point there, Roy, about the squeeze that, that companies represented here, I'm sure, or certainly your customers are facing, they're being squeezed from the bottom, rising costs of raw materials. They're being squeezed in the middle there in the manufacturing process. And then the supermarkets may be wanting to put a squeeze on them as well. So it's that efficiency point. And I think this is key because we're hearing this time and time again. How can we do better? How can we do more? How can we be more productive maybe with what we've already got? And that, whether it's through automation, whether it's through more intelligent manufacturing, is the challenge that many are facing and that you're trying to help them with. Well, it's that adaptation to change as well. And I think... I think it was Charles Darwin, he didn't really say it's about survival of the fittest. Mm. He said it's about those that can more readily adapt to change that are likely to survive. And that's so true of the people that we deal with now. If they can't adapt to the changes that, they're, that are largely being forced upon them, yeah. then survival is going to be very, very difficult for them in the future. Goodness knows here in the UK and in the rest of the world as well to an extent, but in the UK there has been a lot of change in the last three or so years that companies are needing to face and it is that adapt or or struggle really. Yeah, I mean there's uh, somebody else um, in the industry, or used to be in this 50 odd years ago, who said look, you know, change isn't mandatory but neither is survival. <laughs> so it, the choice is yours. Choice. Yeah. The choice is yours. You are, yeah. and maybe disappear or um, make the changes you need to make uh, to become more efficient and actually improve the bottom line. Well, you have made the choice to be here at the PPMA show. Um, how is that choice panning out? Have you been having good conversations with visitors to your stand, with uh, regular customers and maybe new prospects? Yeah, we've had a, a mixture of both, of course, as you'd expect, with uh, existing customers telling us how pleased they are and, of course, with new prospects as well. And um, with, when we were here last time, we were probably dealing largely in the UK. Now we're dealing all over the world. So we're just, uh, you know, I think in the last couple of years, we've got 10 systems in Africa and we've got five in the States. And, and at the moment, we've got two engineers who are installing systems in Canada and in Mexico. So yeah, there's a lot going on at the moment. So even apart from this exhibition, and hopefully from this, we'll see a lot more. We'll know in the next few weeks, once we start to follow these up, how genuine the inquiries are and not. But we've had so far, I think, a good attendance at the stand. More than we could ask for, at least. Well, that's good to hear. Congratulations on the continued growth and thank you for chatting with us right now. Roy from Hardford Control, thank you. My pleasure, David. Thanks. Thank you.